Welcome to our quick demonstration of the Carter Corral. The Carter Corral is a brand new design and has been engineered to meet all your needs for a temporary and portable corral system. The Carter Corral has a telescoping design for easy transport and storage. When expanded for use, each panel measures 4 feet high by 5 feet wide. All the panels collapse down to only 29 inches high by 36 inches wide. Sold in a set of eight panels, all of which store in the carry bag. The bag, along with all the connecting hardware, is included. The entire unit fits nicely into the tack room of your trailer or bed of your truck, even with a gooseneck attached. These corral panels are not PVC or aluminum. They're inch and a half powder coated steel to prevent rust. They'll put up with a lot of abuse, yet each panel only weighs 14 pounds. The inspiration for the design was to invent a temporary corral system that did not require welded or bolted brackets on the side of your trailer or take up an entire stall in the back of your trailer. It also had to be easily handled by a single person, not the entire rodeo team. Lastly, the system had to be stronger and more affordable than the temporary corrals currently on the market. We think you'll agree the design goals have been met. In this short video, we're going to show you how the Carter Corral works, some shortcuts for expanding and collapsing the panels, and a few different corral setup configurations you can make with one or more sets. The carry storage bag is included with your corral. The carry bag has handles on all four sides to make it easy to cart your corral around. The bag has these nylon straps that are all one piece on the bag and a zipper closure to make it easy to get your panels in and out of the bag. An entire set of panels and hardware in the bag weighs 110 pounds. With handles on each side of the bag, the Carter Corral is easily moved into your tack room or pickup truck. The telescoping system is simply one steel tube sliding into another steel tube. Spring buttons hold the tubes in place when the panels are expanded. The legs have a self-aligning groove to keep the buttons and holes lined up. Plastic sleeves have been inserted to ensure the Carter Corral pipes continue to operate smoothly. Small steel feet are welded to the bottom of the legs to keep dirt and moisture out and help the Carter Corral from being pushed around by those horses looking for greener pastures. Welded on each side of the panel are the connector tubes. Each panel has two on one side and one on the other side. With a panel, you want to start by carrying the panels upside down. This way, the legs will not fall out as you're walking along. To extend the, the panels, you start by extending your legs. Place the upper rail on the ground and gently and slowly pull the rail out until the spring button springs in. Then you move on to the other leg and repeat the same with the other leg. To extend the rails, turn it so the double side tube is on top. Place it on the ground, gently and slowly. Open the rails. Your panel's complete. Okay, to keep your panels nice and working properly, you always want to clean and dry them before storing them. I use just a sponge and a non-abrasive, non-toxic cleaner and just literally go across all the, all the rails, all the legs of the panel, making sure they're free of any debris. You take a soft cloth. You can even use a little bit of car wax if you like. It keeps them sliding real nice. Get them dried off real well. And they're ready to store. To collapse the rails, you then would start with the rail, lay the single-sided tube on the ground with the two on top, press in the spring buttons, Collapse it down, turn it over, collapse the leg all the way down, collapse the other leg all the way down, and carry the panel upside down. Now, let's set the Carter Corral in action. To set up, we usually just leave the bag in the tack room. Remove and expand each panel, leaning them against the trailer. To begin putting all the panels together, take one panel, 
lean it up against whatever you got. Take a second panel and line up your tubes. Have a pin ready. Line up your tubes. Set it in there. And you can begin to put the panels in the location you plan to set your corral up. Once all the panels are pinned together, you want to be absolutely sure that all the spring buttons are to the outside as well as the top of the galvanized pins to avoid any injury to the horse. The final step of assembling your corral will be to put the straps around the feet or additional security of the panels. As you can see, a finished corral is the same size as a typical 10 by 10 canopy. You can easily round out the corral by moving out the middle joint on each side. One more idea is to attach the corral to your trailer which can add 10 to 20 feet. Your trailer and the 40 feet of panels easily make a corral large enough for two horses. Lastly, here are a couple of corral arrangements you can make with multiple sets of panels. With two sets, you can have a large round pen that can easily fit two or three horses. If you square off your panels, you can have a 10 by 10 and a 10 by 15 foot stall. Mm -hmm.